This new system here, the optical sorting system, allows us to do what everyone's been trying to do for a while, only do it a lot better. And this facility here is the only one of its kind, certainly in the tri-state area and arguably in the country. It was really a, a two-year project. We had to travel to Canada, California, Germany, England, looking to see what technology is out there. Two years later, we have an operating system that does more than we anticipated. Collection vehicles come in with a mixed waste recycling load. It is discharged onto a tipping floor. A grapple will take that material and load it into one of two metering bins. A metering bin literally will meter the amount of material that goes up the conveyors to begin the sorting process. And this is where it gets very, very cool. The optical sorting units are the automated tools that will separate the white paper from the mixed, or we can separate colored paper from the mixed, we can separate magazines from the mixed, we can separate newspaper from the mixed. It has a variety of a menu of what these systems do. How an optical sorter works is through infrared technology combined with high-speed cameras. It reads that information to 174 air jets and rejects the designated material that we've chosen for that waste stream. At that point there, all of your three-dimensional containers have been removed from the paper, meaning your tin, your aluminum, your PET plastic, or any other grades of plastic. After that, we use a series of two magnets. One magnet will pull all of your tin. The second magnet is very interesting. As you know, a magnet, they attract. A reverse eddy current magnet reverses the currents where they fight each other, and that attracts aluminum. So we pull the aluminum out of the waste stream as well as our tin. Material then goes through our fourth and final optical sorter, which is set for us to remove all of the PET plastic. Everything is programmed through two very large control panels uh, to make sure that every conveyor, every optic, every magnet, every baler talks to each other. I'm a third generation garbage man. I mean, I knew how to drive a garbage truck before I knew how to drive a car. And seeing the way this industry has evolved in my time has just been incredible. I mean, especially with the onset of this new machine now. This facility gives us the edge to be able to dig deeper into the material and, uh, and pull out those different types of recycling commodities that might wind up in the landfill. And ultimately, that's what you're looking to do. Less to landfills, that helps the environment, it helps the community, and at the same time, customers who are becoming more and more sophisticated and more and more sensitive to the environment, they welcome this. Action had the vision, the insight, the wherewithal uh, to go ahead and pull this thing off. And uh, it's something that we all can be proud of, the DEC can be proud of, the DOS can be proud of, and more importantly, New York City can be proud of.